hello and welcome to another video and in this video we are going to talk about how we can compile our sas into css inside visual studio code and we are going to use this live sas compiler to do our job it is actually an extension of visual studio code you can just click it here and install it or we can just go to the visual studio code and install it from there there is a folder in my desktop and it has two files on is index.html another one is style.scss i am going to open this folder by visual studio code we can easily install any extension from visual studio code we can just click it here or we can go to the settings and then extensions now the name of the extension is live sas compiler this one here this is the compiler i have already installed it you can make sure that you have gotten the right extension by checking the developer's name. It is Rithik Day. We can go to the documentation from here. And we are going to get into the documentation later. So we have a scss file and an index.html. Inside it I have added some demo text. Actually it's a card. And with this LiveSas compiler we also need to install the live server extension. And I have already installed it. If you just install the live source compiler, it will automatically install the live server extension. So you don't need to worry about that. So if we have installed both of the plugins, you will get two options in below. So first one is the OS SaaS. Second one is this go live. This go live can be missing from here. You can just right click on the HTML code and get a option of open with live server. So let's do that. Let's open it by the live server and there is no styling here because we haven't compiled it yet. So this is the scss file and if you click this or sas it will open the terminal for us. And this is the terminal of visual studio code and it is currently watching the sas file and it has created a css folder then inside it it will create the style.css file and compile all of this scss into that css file if it got any issue then it cannot it will not be able to compile and in our case there is an issue here so this is an error message that says undefined variable you can find out what the error exactly is then you can solve the problem then again save the document and it will be compile all of the css into this css file and we have opened the index.html by an live server so this is our card and it actually doesn't showing anything any styling because we haven't linked the index.html with this style.css and as you already know web browsers cannot render the css file directly that's why we use the compiler to compile it into an css file so we need to connect the index.html with this style.css let's do that let's add an style.css it's in the folder of css then style.css let's save and this is the card now if we make any change inside this style.scss it will affect automatically suppose this is the yellow color of this card now if we change the color from here let's make it white or completely black and i'm going to press ctrl s to save the document and you already see the effect so the colors have been black now now let's talk about the documentation and we can change our settings from there this is the documentation of the live source compiler and this is an example of settings what we can do with it to change the settings we need to go to the settings.json file so it's here in the settings if you click that you can just uh, click here so we need to go to the json file this is the settings file for visual studio code and i have already added it so i'm going to explain it to you three things you can do from here so the first one is the format there are two value you can either use expanded and compressed so the compressed will minify the css document and in our case the settings is expanded so it is not minified as you can see here this is not minified 
So if you want to make your CSS minified, you can use the compressed value here. The second option is extension name. I have been using this .css because I want the extension name to be .css. As you can see here, this is called style.css. But if you want to make this dot, uh, minified .css, you can also do that. Now the last option is the save path. And I have been using this backslash then CSS. That's why it has created this CSS folder. If I remove this and give it a value of null, it will just create an style.css on the root folder. So you can create your own folder for your path and this extension will create an style.css inside that folder or it will follow that path. The last option here is this on. Let's go to the documentation. This is the libsas compile.setting.generate map and the default value will be true. So if we leave it here and if you don't use this, then it will create a map file for our style.css. If you don't want to create a map file, then you need to put it here and make the value false. So there are some other settings in here. This one is for prefix and this one is for exclude specific folders. So if you want any CSS or SAS files inside the folder, you can add it here. So it will be ignored while compiling. So you can go through the documentation if you want to learn more. But I think uh, this will be enough to work with the SCSS or SAS. So this is it for this video. You can easily compile your SCSS into SAS file by this extension in Visual Studio Code. Otherwise, you will need to go through the command prompt to compile it. It can be troublesome in some cases. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.